In this video, I'd like to continue talking about using similar triangles. And for this example problem, we're told that in this diagram below, the line OH is parallel to the line ID. And you can see that with these arrow markings here. So those are going to be parallel lines. And we're also told a little bit of information about some of these side lengths. And to solve this problem, we need to figure out the length of the line HD, which is this line right here from H to D. And we know part of it. We know PD is equal to 9, which means that we just need to find the length of HP here. And to do this, we can use the properties of similar triangles. Since notice that we have these two triangles, triangle OPH and triangle IPD, and we can prove that these two triangles are similar. Now, to prove the two triangles are similar, we just need to show that they share three sets of equal angles. And we can use the properties of parallel lines, and we can also notice that we have two vertical angles here. The angle OPH and the angle DPI, these are vertical, which means that they're equal to each other. So this one and this one, these two angles, these are equal. And with parallel lines, remember that you have these two lines and a transversal, a line that crosses between the two parallel lines. And within these parallel lines, we know that alternate interior angles are equal, which means that this angle right here, HOP, is equal to this angle right here, DIP. Since again, these are both alternate interior angles. And this is true for any two parallel lines that are cut by some transversal. And likewise, by that same logic, we can prove that this angle right here, OHP, and angle PDI, these are equal as well, since these are also alternate interior angles. Though, like I've mentioned in previous videos, once you know that two angles are equal in both of the triangles, then you therefore also know that the third set of angles are equal as well but it is always useful to confirm it in multiple different ways. Now, we know both of these triangles share three sets of equal angles, which means that they are similar. And we can write that triangle OPH is similar to triangle IPD. And with these triangles, sometimes it's helpful to orient them the same way meaning that if we take this bottom triangle and we rotate it 180 degrees, then it will be at least in the same orientation as this upper triangle here. And let me just redraw this with that same orientation. We can draw the line IP and then this longer side ID and then connect it, that is PD right there. Let me just draw in these points. This is P, this is I, and this is D. And this often just helps you get a better picture so that it's clearer the two triangles are in fact similar. They have the same shape, but they're different sizes. And again, we can remark the angles. This angle I, we know this is equal to angle O, this angle D, is the same as angle H, and of course, both angles at the vertex P are equal. And we can mark those with just one line there. And putting in our information about the sides, we know this is 27, and we know this is nine, and we won't need to figure this one out. What we really just need to figure out is what this line HP is in the smaller triangle. And if we want, we can call that HP or we can give it a letter, let's just call it X. And since we know these two triangles are similar, we can set up a proportionality equation to solve for this missing side length here. Since remember that when two triangles are similar, they are scaled versions of one another. 
meaning that if we start with a smaller triangle, we can take all of the side lengths and multiply them by the same number, that proportionality constant, so that we get the side lengths on the bigger triangle. And to figure out that proportionality constant, we can look at the ratios of side lengths. So if we look at corresponding sides, we can look at OP and IP, and we can look at their ratio. So we have that the bigger triangle, this IP, that's 27. And when we compare it to OP and the smaller triangle, that is 6. And this ratio, this is the proportionality constant. That is the number that we are multiplying all three of these sides by so that we get the bigger triangle. And when we simplify, we can divide top and bottom by 3 so that we get 9 halves, which is 4.5 as a decimal. Meaning that to go from the smaller triangle, all of these side lengths are multiplied by 4.5 to get the bigger triangle. Or we can look at it in reverse. From the bigger triangle, we can divide each of these sides by 4.5 to get the smaller triangle. Now, in some cases, you can actually figure out that proportionality constant like we could here. And honestly, at this point, we can just take 9 and divide it by 4.5 to get this missing side length here. Or we can set up an equation. We can say that the ratio of IP compared to OP, which is this ratio here, this is equal to the ratio of the small sides in each of these triangles, which is PD compared to HP. And with this, we can just plug in all of our information. We have that IP is 27, OP is 6, PD, that is 9, and HP, we've called that X. And from here, we can just solve for the missing variable. So let's multiply each side of the equation by x to do so. And we know this is really just 9 halves. So we have x multiplied by 9 over 2 is 9. And if we solve for x, we can just multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. We can multiply both sides by 2 over 9. And on the left hand side, these will cancel each other out. If you just multiply straight across with those fractions, you get 18 over 18, which is just 1. So x is 9 times 2 divided by 9. And the 9s will cancel out. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So we just get 2. And this should make sense. Because if we take 2 and we multiply it by 4.5, we do get 9. And we do know... 4.5 is in fact the proportionality constant. And now that we know what x is equal to, since this is 2, and we need to find the length of hd, we know hd is really just hp plus pd. And hp is 2, pd is 9, which means that hd is simply 11. And we can put that into our box here that HD is 11 units.